Hey guys, good evening. Um, I just wanted to film this process because I just wanted to show you um, how I make my homemade bibimbap. So basically I just find a random recipe online and it's really really easy. I mean the most tedious part of the recipe is the meat because you have to marinate it and there's a lot of stuff that goes on it. But overall it's super easy to make. You just need meat and mar a marinated meat, um, all kinds of vegetables, you know, mushrooms, um, <laughs> mushrooms, carrots, um, bean sprouts, spinach. You need an egg if you want an egg, and um, gochujang, or you can make the gochujang sauce. And yeah, it's super easy. So I'm gonna show you how to marinate the meat. But but when you search up a recipe online, they're gonna be all different. So kind of customize it to your own liking. So if you don't like like one thing in the recipe, you can just take it out. Or if you don't have this one thing in the recipe, just don't do it with that. So for example, most of the recipes, if you're making the meat, the marinated meat, you need a um, Korean pear. Um, I don't have that. Um, they mostly use it for its sweetness and it's good for tenderizing the meat. And I don't have that part. But it's okay because you could just have been something else like um, sugar, like very simple sugar. So yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm very amateur at this, but it tastes good. It's super, super easy, guys. It's so easy. So I just have um, a slab of meat here. Um, it's a cut of beef. I just found it in the fridge because we just stuck up on our beef, like a huge ass chunk of beef, like a triple... The size is like triple my like three heads three of my heads that's how big the chunk is and we stuck it up we just, we just buy the chunk in costco we just stuck it up in the freezer and when we want to cook something we just use a chunk of meat if we want to so right now i wanted to do some bibimbap and i'm out actually I've been eating it for the past week almost every single day and i want to make another batch so i wanted to show you guys so yeah, let's just get started. So I'm just gonna cut up um, the, the slab of meat into thin slices. It's up to you how you, honestly, it's up to you how you want your, your slices to look like. And I just have green onions and garlic, um, sesame oil, important actually, um, pepper, and soy sauce and sugar it's in a really big jar i'm not gonna show it to you guys and yeah so basically just mix everything and i actually have an additional so the last batch that i did didn't have um onions but i have like a leftover half of onion and i'm thinking of including it you know onion just i know it's not like a typical ingredient in a bibimbap marinade I mean bulgogi, I think, but the meat in the bibimbap, there's n usually no onions, but onion, I, in, my, in my opinion, onion makes anything taste better because it car caramelizes and it's just like it's such a great flavor to add to your recipe. So I'm just going to, yeah, get on with it. Okay, so I'm just thinly cutting the beef into thin slices. But it's up to you guys. Honestly, it's up to you. And I'm actually just including the fat in these in this meat because fat tastes good.
looks like. So we're just gonna guesstimate. Start off with a soy sauce. I'm just gonna give some in. So we'll put little by little. Start off by a little because you could just add more. But if you add too much, you can't go back. So we're just gonna mix it first. Okay, that's obviously not enough. But that's okay, we're gonna add more. Because I remember in the last batch, I added too much soy sauce and it tasted, the meat just tasted like soy sauce. So now I'm just being careful on the amount of soy sauce I'm putting. I think the onions are too much, but that's okay. I know it's gonna taste good. Okay, it seems a bit dry still. I think. Dude, just hungry. a little bit more in that thing. And then we're gonna add the rest. Dude, I'm hungry. Wait. Okay, that's good. I'm just gonna cool our this and then pepper. I love pepper. Just make sure every single meat is coated. I love pepper. I love spicy shit. Okay, that's good. And then oh, sesame I oil. I don't want to eat. I'm just gonna put like a drizzle. Just make sure everything is gonna be coated. And then some sugar. I'm just gonna guesstimate again. Um, just enough for it to be sweet. I'm freaking hungry. It's gonna let down. I thought you were a vlog camera. <laughs> Stop speaking on top of me. I'm vlogging right now. Okay, just give it a good mix. And we're actually gonna let this sit overnight. So the marinade and the meat embraces each other. She makes love overnight. What? So it tastes good. Damn, onions and sugar don't mix. That's a weird smell. It smells great, guys. Don't listen. He doesn't even know shit. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, give it a good mix. Did you put too much onions? I think so too, but it's still gonna taste great. It tastes like onions. Then don't eat it tomorrow. If I see you eat my bibimbap, no, don't no. eat. I'm just saying. Then don't eat it. No, I'm just saying next time don't put too much onion. No, you but you're half? not gonna eat it. Why don't you put half? Mm -hmm. uh, allow it to cool. Okay, egg test 101. I found a random egg, but I'm sure it's hard boiled. Poached? Ah, what's that? Dito poached. Oh shit. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? It's so loud. Oh my god, it's not working. Do you not know how to crack an egg on your finger? Let me try. Here? Harder, like... Oh. I did. <laughs> Give me. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, my hair. Okay, it's hard boiled. I'm gonna okay. eat it with salt. It's good. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey guys, it is the next day. And I am gonna make bibimbap for myself. And mom wants <clears throat> just the meat and plain rice, and we're just making rice right now, so oops. We're just making rice. So I'm gonna wait for that to cook because that is brown rice and it takes twice as long to cook as white rice. So I'm just gonna wait for that to cook. It takes like 30 ish minutes. And while I'm waiting, I'm actually gonna make banana bread because this one is ripened. <laughs> Has a lot of brown spots, so it's the perfect time to cook it. And again, I just found a random recipe online, and I'm just gonna mostly guesstimate. For this one, I'm actually going to add some chocolate chips and some granola, just on top, like um, like a 12 grain loaf bread. So yeah, let's just get started.
banana bread is done. <gasps> it left some pieces to the, I don't think you can see. It's not perfect. Because I don't have parchment paper and I don't want to use parchment paper anymore, the disposable ones. I'm looking for the reusable baking sheets so I can mess it up my waist. So I just use um, butter as like, um, I just use butter instead of parchment paper so the, um, the, the bread wouldn't stick to the tray, tray pan, the tray, whatever it's called. So yeah, I'm just gonna scrape the leftover, they're mostly just the um, chocolate chips. Not that hot, it's actually pretty warm, so. Ta da! Alright, here is my banana chocolate chip banana bread. Ta da! Right now, I'm actually sitting on my desk. Ta da! I'm sitting on my desk. That's how you know I'm actually going to do something productive. Is when I'm on my desk because even if um, I have exams or finals I rarely sit at my desk I usually sit in my bed which is not a good idea because I end up sleeping and yeah my bed makes me sleepy so it's not a good idea to study on your bed so, um, having like a study desk is super helpful because you're actually doing something it makes you it makes me motivated to do something so right now, I actually have my agenda. As you can see, it's blank. It's the free week that I get um, in between winter term and spring term. So I'm trying to actually be productive as much as I can. So the f um, there's a couple things in my list for today, Monday, April 27th. There's um due adjustment request, which is what I'm gonna do right now. It's some um, just like a tax form that I need to finish. Um, work out, read a book, film, I'm doing it right now, watch a movie, I haven't done that, and make banana bread. So the things that I've done is read a book, I read it um, earlier this t earlier today, I read um, House of Hades, and I already made banana bread. So I'm, I'm a third way there, so I'm gonna, just gonna do my tax. I don't have a printer. But I don't really need the form. I don't really need to hand in the form. I just need like um, the, the number. It's hard to explain. It's, it's a bit complicated. But um, I'm just gonna do my taxes on a piece of paper. So I brought out an old notebook of mine. And I'm gonna pull up the form and some of my um, documents. So yeah. Degraded. I'm using my phone because I'm charging my, my camera. I'm just gonna do a, a quick little vacuum session because I want to. So, yeah. Yeah. 
Because God's doing something. May I zoom in? Oh yeah, I can zoom in. Say hi, ugly. Hello. Say hi, ugly. Hello. Okay, whatever. So, I'm just stir frying everything in one pan. It's only little. Bad. Just sauteing some spinach. Oops, it's not on. Wow. super annoyed. Why? Super annoyed with the camera. Okay, so everyone is plating right now. Super easy, guys. You basically just saute everything in oil or butter and then you just assemble it. You made extra. What? You made extra, right? Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, oh never mind. I'm holding it. Guys, that's basically and then... Oh. Why? What is this that happening? Oh, look, look. Oh. <laughs> That looks Why? good. Why? 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 Which one's yours, left or right? Mine's the green cake. Is the egg more done than... It's the same shit, guys. Okay. It's the same. Do you like it runny? It doesn't matter. It's an egg. Oil, I mean, the sauce. It's just gochujang, red pepper paste sauce. And sesame oil, and then I'm just trying to stir. I don't know if this is right. Maybe it needs more sesame oil. Half, half. You want some? Yeah. It gives it taste. Right here. A lot of oil. And if you want like seasoning, put pepper or whatever. Be done and just so done with this. Goodbye presentation. Wait, I'm hungry. How long has it been filming, Gab? Twenty seconds. I made you food. Can you shut up? <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Looks Good so time. good on camera. Ooh. Oh, actually, you know what inspired me to make this? The show <laughs> Mama Yoon's Kitchen. I don't know if you know it, but Park So Joon, a Korean actor, was one of the waiters or servers. And then the show is um, in a small town in Spain. And they serve Korean food. Really, really small menu. And then one of the menus, one of the items in the menu was bibimbap. And that's why I'm, I was inspired to make bibimbap at home. Because it's super easy. You just need lots of vegetables and beef and an egg and rice. Super easy access. If, we, if you're Asian, you already have all these ingredients. So yeah, we're going to eat now. Goodbye. See you again tomorrow. Have you been doing it right